Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Bike Waxing channel. So, on to an awesome set of skis. Now, these are super wide, super powdery days. Oh, Rosignol Soul 7s. Check out that nose on that. Now, these are proper off piste smashers. I love the honeycomb, fully translucent through the nose there. You can see all the way through. Total flex, total flex. Look at that. That is just for cutting through powder, leaning back and just absolutely flying. Lovely ski. Now we had some Sin 7s on the channel. These are Soul 7s, so they're slightly wider. Go across to my Rado Wacken channel. Hit like, hit subscribe, by the way, and uh, check them out. Matching bindings, but also, which is really cool, this gentleman's lent me his ski bag with all his bits in. He's got matching poles. Look at that. The grip is like, if you were really into your old 80s BMX, you had a mongoose and it had one of those grips on. That brings me back to my childhood. Leather Rosignol, obviously uh, wrist straps. They're awesome. Look at those bad boys. Real thick, chunky things. These things mean business, man. Absolutely awesome. So, what are these in for? Now, these are in for a full service. And uh, I think they've been parked up for a while because they're a little bit dry and a little bit rusty. And as I always do, pop you in my hand and have a detailed look at these Soul 7 Rosignols. These things are awesome. Let's have a quick look. Check these bad boys out. Now that is fully, you can, when you hold that up to the light, that honeycomb, you can see all the way through. We've got a bit of a top coat lift just there. I will try and get some epoxy in there and clamp that down and just seal that up. Um, and then we've, we'll lay a little bit just in this bit area just over here. Um, but yeah, what a set of skis. Soul 7s. Now, did check the DIN settings. Now, the DIN settings are slightly out. The DIN setting on this one, we're going to just crank up to just between 7.5 and, and 8. Because this one over here is already, uh, if I just get my screwdriver in there, this one is already between 7.5 and, and 8. So... Seven and a half, we've got seven and a half on the rear. I'm gonna make sure all four match. Um, so I'll do that off camera, it's very hard to do with the camera in my hand. But yeah, what a lovely set of skis. We've got the honeycomb on the end, real flexible tips and tails. Um, just an awesome powder ski. 180 in length, um, uh, 1.9 kilograms in weight. Side cut, uh, 136, 106 in um, profile with uh, 126. So 126 wide, just, yeah, just a lovely, lovely ski. All right, let's flip these bad boys over. Now, I reckon we're going to, be able to turn these things around, man. Big time. These are going to come up looking awesome. Camera doesn't quite do it justice with the flatness. They are very flat. As you can see, a lot of dead material on there. Got a bit of a deep gouge just in there, as you'd expect, being a powder ski, bouncing off rocks. Got quite rusty rails. All the way down through, as well as on that side, just over there, coming into the rear. We should see quite a turnaround on here. Got a na nasty little mark just here, which will get that all detailed and sorted. Even right down into the tips. And we've got a rust bleed just there as well. So we'll get these looking ship shape, there's no doubt. We're going to absolutely polish the life out of these. We've got a bit of P-Tex to do. I think this ski here is worse than, I don't know, there's little divots and knocks all over this one. We've got quite a bit of base scraping first um, before laying down. We've got a nice high spot just there before laying down the wax. But we're going to get these things looking awesome. So guys, as I always do, stick some tunes on, get to time lapse. And this is where the magic happens. Here we go. Okay guys, so these Sol 7 by Rosignol, awesome wide twin tip powder skis of just heavenness are all set. The wax has been laid, it has cured, I've had it in my hot room and basically I've brought it out to my workshop now for about an hour and uh, yeah, it's nice and cold now which is great. 
Um, and now we're going to scrape this off and polish this bad boy up. Now, the edges were pretty rusty. We've detailed the side rails. We've detailed the base rails. They are lovely and silver now. We've dull and tipped those ends in, but not just an inch. We've dull and tipped them in to around about here for the simple reason. This is kind of a contact point because you've got such a kicker on the nose and the same on the rear. You don't just get cut in a couple of inches on every ski. You physically have a look and see where the contact points where they will touch the ski and that stops the skis from doing this and then chucking you off um and it just reduces a problem um, like i say these are a very flexible ski so on the speed going down a hill they will flex up and down the minute you hit the powder they just want to pop you out of the powder and then you have that awesome surfy feel and it's just the best feeling in the world if you haven't ridden powder would recommend it but do it safely because obviously there's a risk of avalanche that said I'm going to get these things apart and we're going to get these things polished and uh, we've made a bit of p-tex down to be fair quite a lot of dig divots and holes now on these sole seven the bases are actually very very soft took a lot of dead material off um, and when you laid the p-tex down it basically hid in and basically base scraped out really really well filling those holes up beautifully um, so there's no real indentations as such other than the very fine stuff which if you laid the p-tex in you'd just be dragging all of that out so these skis i think are going to come up awesome i'm really looking forward to this anyway i like to chat as i'm doing now i'm going to get my scraper nice and sharp and we're going to basically make it snow here we go So there we are guys, these skis are banging and they are ready for this. This was a black run in La Plan just off the back, uh, unpieced black and uh, yeah, just trees. You can see the run there and it just ventures off into a valley over here. Um, absolutely brilliant. La Plan, can't, can't say anything bad about that place. Absolutely awesome and hopefully these skis are going to perform, not hopefully, they will perform superbly well because they have been detailed, they have been waxed, they have been edged, they have been base scraped, they have been p tex and they were very, very dull and very, very furry and very, very rusty. But now they are not. Check those bad boys out. We've got awesome colour there in the R for the Rosignol. We've got base colour. We filled in all those pits and little divots and gouges. The edges are super sharp, super sharp. My new tool is just phenomenal. Uh, we've detailed the top coat. We've got the ride right waxing sticker on there. Very happy, very, very happy. These things are gonna be absolutely awesome in the powder. I'm really jealous. If I were to ski, to be fair, this is kind of what I'd have. I'd go for off-piece fat twin tip powder skis i prefer the powder to the piece unfortunately um but yeah really happy with these they've come up superbly well it's taken a fair bit of work to be brutally honest over a couple of nights but it's been worth it using my little hot room getting that wax really into that base because it was quite dry but guys another awesome set of rosignols done here in the ride right waxing workshop heading out to the alps so guys go across and hit sir gribe yes hit like share with your friends go on to instagram follow me on there and facebook five star google review you name it let's go for it so guys until next time to another set of skis in the ride right waxing workshop we will boom see you soon